Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine and check out this BRX. This is called the Hain Signature 580 BRX. Now it's the second generation of the original Colt boat, the 580 BR. So let's have a talk about this package and what John Haynes has done in building this model because it's pure luxury, unbelievable high performance and it's got every conceivable fun factor you'd ever want in a boat for your family. So with the 580 BRX, what they've done is take the original 580 hull. Now that hull, according to John Haynes, is basically impossible to improve on. And let's face it, that boat would do 90, 92 Ks with a 200 on the back. And you can take your hand off the steering wheel and it would just go dead straight up the river. Just absolutely phenomenal performance. Not just in, fresh, in flat water, but you take that boat through Chop, through Sydney Harbour, Botany Bay, off Sydney uh, Heads, and it was a fantastic boat to go through the, the rough water as well. So we've taken the amazing 580 hull and they've engineered what's hands down one of the most comfortable family fit outs for a bow rider that you can have. So what you've got in this boat is the arena seating. It's a full wraparound lounge, but if you like the idea of the driver and passenger both having the comfort of a bucket seat, you can have that as well. So driver passenger bucket with the U-shaped seating in behind. The best thing they've achieved is using up all that wasted space that was in the 580BR because it only had that back seat. Now you've got storage on both sides and seating, so you're making the absolute most out of this incredible hull. So let's have a closer look at the fit out and the features that come in that 580BRX. So from a, from a driver point of view, the boat comes standard with a seven inch Simrad. Now we've optioned it up to the nine because I'm half blind and I need the bigger, bigger riding basically, but it's not much money to go to the nine and definitely looks a lot better. Reason being, if you were to go with the DTS setup like we have with the V8 Pro XS here, we've got a whole lot of control features here which from cruise control. And if you're doing water sports, we've got Smart Tow, which is a launch control system. And then you can set your rider profiles and whatnot into the actual dash. So in brief, what that means is if Samson was gonna go for a run, we'd hit Samson's profile and his name would be on there. And all I've got to do is basically push the throttle forward, the computer in the outboard reads off what's in here and accelerates the boat exactly how Samson likes it. The exact speed, the overshoot, everything is done exactly the way that So he can't complain and say, Dad, you're driving like an imbecile and I can't ride properly. He's got no one to blame except for his own ability. So that's a cool feature. From a fishing point of view, you've got troll mode. So it sets, you can set exactly what speed you want the boat to troll at. Um, there's cruise control. If you want to have a lazy cruise day and you're cruising up a river, you can set the speed to do that as well. So you don't even have to think about the throttle. So there's a whole lot of cool functionality that goes on in this screen where the, the larger font could well be a benefit to you. Having a look at the rest of the information here, you've got plenty of switches here now. This boat's pretty well loaded. It's got a whole lot of Roswell gear fitted to it, a whole lot of extra lighting. So it's got additional buttons to what would normally be on the dash, but they're well lit up, really easy to work with. Push button, ignite at night so you can see what's turned on. Other than that, there's not much else going on. JL head deck here, which is running all the Roswell speakers and tilt steering, which I think is a must in this boat and, uh, and works well. Let's move forward into the bow. The bow um, has a really big, comfortable area here. Um, one of the cool features, which you won't see in a lot of the American bow riders, it actually has an anchor well. So obviously in Australia, we don't have river banks we tie up on often. We're generally in big open water areas like this where we want to be able to anchor up. So that's a standard feature in it. There's plenty of room in here for two adults. You get three kids as well. Um, we've got speakers in the bow. Now the bow speakers are an option, but if you're getting a boat from us, we're generally going to recommend to, to load it up with a bit of audio to make the boat just that little bit better. And uh, the bow speakers fit neatly in the front of the boat here. Now there is a bow infill cushion and another infill cushion that goes here, that's an option. So the infill cushion here when the window is shut works like a wind dam. So you've got basically a full bed then and a recliner so you could effectively have three people in here, kick back, relaxing and enjoying that, the best house, the best seat in the house. So the back of the boat here, we've got a really comfortable, well-designed back end here. So the traditional 580 had a bit of a ramp um, for the step down and then a short step. Um, really wasn't comfortable to sit on and it was kind of a pain in the ass to try and climb in and out of as well. So with the BRX, it's been redesigned, it's flat, and then you've got a big ski step as an option. Um, hands down, go the ski step every single time. It makes the back of the boat a lot more functional. And if you are stepping into weight boards or skis, that ski step works really well. Uh, from that point of view. Now, horsepower wise, this BRX is heavier than the original BR, so we generally, rec generally recommend going to the bigger horsepower. So far, all the ones we've sent out have all gone out with 200 V6s or the 200 V8. 
Um, I don't mind a bit of horsepower, so for me the V8 is definitely where I'd be wanting you to go if you're looking at the BRX. On the flip side, if you're working on a tight, slightly tighter budget, the 150 still pushes this boat very comfortably. You're still gonna be looking around a 70 km an hour mark, which for most people is more than fast enough. Accessories wise in the 580 BRX, so really it comes down to how you're gonna use the boat. Um, ski poles are pretty much a common feature that you'll see in this boat. Um, or you go the Roswell wakeboard tower like we've got fitted on this particular boat. The advantage in the wakeboard tower is it helps get all the toys out of the boat. Like for now we've got surfboard, a weightboard, or two weightboards and a, a, uh, a foil board. Um, and if you didn't have the foil board there you'd be able to, or even if you did, you're still going to be able to get skis in here as well. So if you've got a family full of toys, I'd strongly recommend the tower option. The main benefit of this 580 BRX is it's luxurious, it's comfortable, and it doesn't matter where you want to go, this boat's going to take you there, it's going to take you there in style. It's an unbelievably soft riding hull, it corners like an absolute weapon, and the construction of the boat being a Haynes signature is absolute world class, including the carbon Kevlar reinforcement that runs full length of the keel line right up in the transom. A lot of the materials you'll see in this boat you will not see in any competitor boat on the market. At Good Times Marine, we've usually got one of these available as a demo, so we'd love to be able to take you out and show you the difference of what it's like to ride in a quality-built Australian manufactured boat, like the Haynes Signature 580 BRX. If it's not on your shopping list yet, definitely put it on, come down, check it out. We'd love to show you why you should own a 580 BRX for your family.